Okay, so today we're gonna work on our shoulders. Opening, closing the shoulders, all you're gonna need is a strap. If you don't have a strap, a belt works really great. So when you find your materials, I will meet you back here on your mat. With our first pose, we're going to take the strap and take one side, take the buckle of the belt or the strap into the left hand, and then extend the right hand down the strap to be a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna inhale the arms over the head, and then exhale, maybe draping the strap out, back, and around. Really warming, open and up. And exhale, the wider you go, the less intensity. The closer your hands are together, the more intense. So inhale, open. Try not to bend the elbows. Exhale, down. Three more times. Once more. Awesome, I don't know about you, but I'm already feeling warm. So let's take this strap, set it off to the side for now. We're gonna move into eagle arms. Eagle arms is the more advanced pose. We can also just give ourselves a big bear hug. So let's take the arms out from the side, parallel to the shoulders. Palms are gonna come out facing in front of you. And the first place is bring those elbows and palms together. And then open again, warming up still. Exhale together. Inhale, expand, open. You're gonna hear me talk a lot like that. Exhale, come together internally. And then inhale, opening out. Exhale, inhale. Now we move into eagle arms. So you're going to exhale, bringing both arms extended out from your side, palms up. Allow the right elbow to come on top of the left elbow. Bend the elbows, spin all the way back and around and bring the fingers and palms together. Elbows can be out here from the shoulders, fingertips up towards the sky, allowing a deep stretch through the shoulders and between the blades in the back. Maybe dropping the shoulders down the center. Or maybe if it feels really good, lifting up. And back. As an alternative, instead of coming into this eagle arm, you can just simply wrap your arms around your back and give yourself a squeeze, maybe even a twist. Hmm. Awesome, inhale, open. Exhale, left arm over the right. Maybe just come into your bear squeeze, hugging and twisting. Or continue to wrap the forearms and palms together, fingertips together. Extend the elbows out and away from the shoulders, fingertips up towards the sky. Maybe dropping those elbows down the center. See how that changes the twist and the exchange and the stretch through the spine and the shoulders. Maybe lifting the shoulders up off the center. And back together. If you're in eagle arms or in your bear hug, let's exhale and expand both arms out from your center, palms forward, thumbs up, and then twist the palms back, interlacing the hands behind you. This is where the strap can come back into play. So ideally, we're gonna take the hands and interlace them together, really sucking the palms of the hands together behind the back. But if you don't have the reach just yet, you can take one strap into one hand, 
take a hold of the other hand with the other side of the strap and then roll the shoulders back and down, right? So depending on whether you're using a strap or you're interlacing, roll the shoulders open, lift the hands off of the floor. Maybe even tilting forward to lift more. Exhale back. We're gonna take the hands to the left side of the body and then bend the elbows, bringing the palms to the left side. Then lift the left elbow forward. Staying tall, energy up and down through your center. Crown of your head lifting, exhale, release back. Inhale, expand, exhale, coming to the right side. Roll that right elbow out and forward. Exhale, release back. And then with control, release the hands, float them all the way up over the head. And then exhale, bend the left elbow, taking a hold of the left elbow with the right hand. Exhale, shift the left elbow forward, lift the chin and the back of the head, taking a deep stretch here. Exhale, release up. Bending the right arm, take a hold of the right elbow. Lift that neck and head. And there's also an alternative here if you'd like an additional stretch through the shoulder. And I'm gonna show that, but first I'm just gonna take a quick spin. So once we're here, we can take the arms back over the head, drop the shoulder blades down the back, bend the left elbow, turn the right hand all the way back, and take hold of your fingertips curling those fingers in. Now, once again, you can use your strap here. Taking the strap, dripping it down the back, bend the left elbow, take the right hand, take it onto the strap, pull down, and maybe walk the fingers up, lifting the head and neck. Maybe your fingers are really far apart at first, and the more you practice, you walk, 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 and touch. Exhale, release out. Let's continue a flow all the way around. Right elbow bends, left um, fingertips reach up towards the left fingers. And as you can see, look, check on these different sides of the body, right? So there's very, very different sides of the body. Maybe this is where you didn't use the strap on one side and you can use the strap on the other. Walk the fingers up, 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 up. Until you reach. Lifting the head and chin. And release down. Awesome, great active stretching there. Our last pose, many of us call thread the needle. So you're gonna shift forward towards the front of your mat. Hands can come underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, walk the left hand a little bit more forward, about one hand length forward. Take the right hand out from your center and then thread the right hand underneath all the way out towards the left side of the mat and drop the right shoulder down towards the earth. Maybe you walk the left hand forward a bit. Allowing a stretch through the right side of the neck. Two more breaths.
Left hand comes down, push down through the earth, come back to center, and we'll move over to the other side. So walk that right hand just about one hand length in front of you. Lift the left hand out from the center, thread the left hand under, drop that left shoulder down, left palm is up towards the sky. Feel free to stay here or walk the right hand forward. If you're very, very comfortable with this thread the needle and you, this feels really good, you like a little bit more on either side, feel free to extend the right foot to the back right corner of the room. And if that feels really, really, really good and you'd like a little bit more, maybe bring the knee in and float the right hand up, creating a bit of a twist. Exhale, right hand comes back, down and under. And back to center. Shift the weight back onto the heels. And our final pose is going to be, of course, our opposite of our thread the needle. So you're gonna come all the way forward, walk the hips back onto the ground, onto your belly. Extend the left hand out to the side, immediately parallel with the floor across and out from your shoulder. Right hand is under the shoulder. Bend the right knee and roll over to your left side, planting the left foot flat to the earth and right foot flat to the earth. Drop the left ear to the floor. Once again, you're welcome to open here. Maybe reach back, take a hold. Maybe this is where your strap comes in handy too. And rolling forward. Left hand comes underneath the left shoulder. Extend the right hand out. Bend the left knee, rolling over and back. Plant that left foot flat on the floor. Extend and flatten out through the right foot. Active energy here. Once again, feel free to stay here or extend the left leg, left arm open. Also, you are more than welcome to take both feet flat to the floor if that gives an additional stretch through the pectorals and the shoulder. Or maybe interlace, coming back to your belly. Placing both hands underneath the shoulders, push down through the fingers, heels of the palms, walk the knees back underneath you, turn back towards me. If you ever have any questions about any of those stretches, please feel free to message us as we're happy to help with using blocks, straps, and bolsters to make everything feel really good. And we can't wait to see your videos, photos, and posts. Thank you and happy shoulders.